I'm not sure I could have squeezed anything more into this sports cast today. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, at least you could find your golf ball, Adam. <laughs> yeah. It's not like somewhere in the brush or... True, true. Know, that is true, Joseph. That's good, so... <laughs> not hey, golf weather, though, is it? Uh, not here, <laughs> but 72 down in Phoenix. That was the high temperature today. Um, on the other side of uh, the country, up to the north, single digits out there. Wind chill values well below zero. Very cold air uh, infiltrating parts of the United States. And some of that's going to try to find a way here west of the Cascades, if it could kind of fight through the Rockies and the Cascades a little bit later in the week. We have 48 degrees for a high today, uh, some 60s there in areas of California, and of course it was warmer down in Florida. Tomorrow we have the Super Bowl game right here on Coin 6 News. Make sure you're uh, watching that. There's a chance for maybe a couple of thunderstorms earlier in the day. I think the highs are going to be about 70s lower 70s. We'll see if it slows down though by the time the game uh, does move on and we're not dealing with that tomorrow. I think it's a bit cloudy. Maybe some spotty rain showers out there in the forecast tomorrow. You know, if you're going to be inside watching this, uh, you're probably not worrying too much about the weather and tomorrow's fairly tame, but we do have a little bit more going on later in the week. We have some 40s out there right now. Maybe some uh, you know, mist or a very light rain around the region. You can see that northwest flow that's going to continue to usher in some moisture, but it's just not going to be a lot. And so that's why we're just seeing those isolated pockets of some rain with uh, a few impulses moving on through. We do have some rain maybe up to the north. Again, this is going to be fairly light south of Portland, uh, mainly dry. Heading into tonight, we may still see some snowfall, uh, maybe even a mix of some ice there uh, for the mountains, uh, leading to some slick conditions. So if you have to do any sort of travel tomorrow, even if it's pretty light, if you're just going through the Cascades, Please be careful. It might be icy at times uh, through the overnight and early tomorrow morning. Pretty cloudy tomorrow. Temperatures probably into the mid to upper 40s. Notice through the future cast here, we keep some showers in the forecast, but it's just not a lot. Uh, we really dry up as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So it's going to feel kind of like a sunny winter day, a bit cold and brisk in the morning, but no rain and really not much cloud coverage. Uh, we get to about Thursday night into Friday, and we're tracking maybe... Uh, paired with that cold air, some moisture moving into the south, which could maybe lead to some snowfall. I want to show you the weather pattern real quick. There's all that cold air. Watch what happens. It tries to branch over here, mixing actually to the west here. And you can see that kind of fall right in place for us uh, close to Friday or Saturday. With that, temperatures down to the 30s. We have sunshine. As I mentioned, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the mornings may feel a bit brisk, but it really starts to get cold Friday into Saturday. I'm buying that. We'll see about the precipitation that could mean some snow. We'll talk about that, though, of course, in the next couple of days. We're back after the break.